Okay, so here's a classic alternating series test. This is why they developed the alternating series test. Uh, let's just look at why this is alternating. Uh, just plug in one. I get uh, negative one to the one over one, which is negative one. I plug in two, my numerator is positive, my denominator is two. Plug in three, I get negative one over three, quarter, minus a fifth, dot, 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 dot. So hopefully we're all okay with the fact that um, without the negatives and positives, this series would diverge. Um, that's the classic harmonic series, or this is why the P series came about, is because of um, this series here. Um, if we have these alternating positive and negatives, um, we can therefore um, show that the series actually kind of does converge only if we have the positive and negative values in there. So that's where this uh, conditionally and absolute convergence comes in. Uh, we have to satisfy these uh, criteria up here. Uh, number one um, is letter A, which is, is this alternating series? Well, clearly, yes, it goes back and forth. Uh, letter B is um, what happens to my series as it goes to infinity without the negative one. Uh, letter C, show that the series is decreasing. Uh, letter D, prove um, divergence or convergence of the series without the negative one. And then we just make a conclusion, is it conditionally conver convergent or absolutely convergent? Meaning, um, will it converge um, with, will it only converge if it alternates? So in this case here, this thing will only converge if it alternates. So therefore this one, the conclusion is going to be con conditionally convergent Absolute convergent, we'll see with some of those examples, which that just means you don't need the alternating for the series to converge. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, so the first thing um, I want to do here is I, I just need to write down alternating series. I'll do that when I'm writing down all the conclusions. Letter B here says, um, let's look at the uh, the limit as n goes to infinity. So I'm, this is, I'm just going to call it letter B. I'm going to do the limb as n goes to infinity of 1 over n. Notice that I'm excluding the negative 1. I don't really need to worry about that. Uh, that equals um, zero, so therefore uh, letter B is a check. Uh, letter C is a decreasing, right? So this is decreasing. So that's just asking, is A sub n plus one less than A sub n? And hopefully we're all okay with the fact that n plus one is bigger than n. And if I take the reciprocal of both sides, I get this right here. Oh, that's a really easy way of showing that something is decreasing. So therefore, is it decreasing? Yes. Um, prove divergence or convergence of the original series without the negative one. Sorry, without the negative one. So, what's up with this series? N equals one to infinity. Oh, this is the harmonic slash P series with P equals one. It's divergent. So, what, what, is, what is my conclusion? Well, my conclusion is conditionally convergent. Why? Well, because without the alternating, this series diverges, right? The one over n diverges. If I have the alternating, hopefully you're all okay with that this is, um, it will converge. Um, so therefore, uh, the things we want to write down is number one, we considered alternating series. Number two, we said the limit as n goes to infinity of one over n is equal to zero. Number three, we show decreasing. Number four, which is we prove divergence convergence. So that's just harmonica, harmonic diverges. And the fifth thing we need to write down is conditionally convergent. So I really didn't need to rewrite these two statements right here because I did it over here. I didn't really need to rewrite harmonic diverges because I did it over here. I just want to make sure that we're all okay, that those are the five things that you need to check in order to show uh, that you can apply the alternating series test.